Hello there, Buzzkillers. Quote or No Quote is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is on a mission to bring cooking back into all of your lives with real, whole, healthy ingredients that you can feel good about. They do all the shopping, planning, and deliver step-by-step recipes with their ingredients so you can relax and enjoy all there is about cooking. They plan, they shop, you cook. Go to HelloFresh.ca and use the code BUZZKILL50, that's BUZZKILL50, to get 50% off your first box. Do it now, Buzzkillers, and say hello to a fresh new life. And now, on to the show. We shall never surrender. One small step for man. If I have a dream, ask not what your country can do for you. What's the status quo of your favorite quote? Professor Buzzkill explains all on Quote or No Quote. It's probably a sin, Buzzkillers, to think of some historical figures as job security for me and for those who work here at the Buzzkill Institute. But an avalanche of words and sentiments are misattributed to Chief Seattle, the 19th century Native American leader. His words, and I'm putting words in quotation marks, appear on bumper stickers, yoga posters, and almost countless Twitter and Facebook pages. Generally, these are taken from highly disputed sources. The first is an 1855 letter to President Franklin Pierce, and the second is a speech, possibly from the same year, after Seattle agreed to cede land to colonizing white settlers. Seattle supposedly said to those colonizers, as a piece of wisdom about generational stewardship of land and nature, quote, We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. Unquote. We did a full episode on this, quote, speech a while ago, but the frequency with which Chief Seattle quotes appear led us to look more specifically into this one. And you guessed it, Buzzkillers, the we do not inherit the earth quote or sentiment does not appear in either Chief Seattle's letter, and I'm putting letter in quotation marks, or his speech, again in quotation marks, because they're both highly disputed. But like spiritual quotes that get attached to Gandhi, political quips and jibes that get attributed to our favorite, Churchill, and thoughtful sentiments that drift towards Martin Luther King, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children, God affixed to Chief Seattle, despite the fact that there's no evidence he ever said it. And the attribution happened, Buzzkillers, during the environmental movement that started in the 1970s. But who first said it is unknown. The phrase is undoubtedly wise, don't get me wrong. And it seems to be, you know, common wisdom, a distillation of more extensive paragraph-length ideas, or both. In fact, the nearest that Buzzkill Institute researchers have been able to come to an originator of the quote is the noted American writer, poet, and cultural critic Wendell Berry. In his 1971 book, Unforeseen Wilderness, which we've put on the Buzzkill bookshelf, Barry wrote that environmental stewardship has been lost by most modern people. It can, however, be recovered. He said, we can learn about it from exceptional people of our own culture and from other cultures less destructive than ours. I'm speaking of the life of a man who knows that the world is not given by his fathers, but borrowed from his children who has undertaken to cherish it and to do it no damage. Not because he is duty-bound, but because he loves the world and loves his children. Barry is well known in literary circles and should probably be much better known in our wider culture. In fact, Buzzkill Institute historians argue that his name should appear on the bumper stickers and posters that promote the sentiment usually attributed to Chief Seattle. I don't hold out much hope for that, but maybe in our children's day. Talk to you next week.